It's me. As you may have guessed from the title, I intend to talk about my lovely, lovely PSVR. And quite frankly, I love this bit of kit. I really do. Now, some of you have probably noticed from my trophies that I've not exactly done as much with this as I would have liked. There are some important caveats. Now, yes, I am a man that owns two VR headsets. Okay, I'm very much in the VR loving camp. Okay, I chuffing love VR. It is awesome. Now, anybody that's been with the channel a while has seen the previous videos I've made about VR. You know, my first en encounters with VR back in the 90s and how much I enjoyed it then and how much I think the vi the technology has improved to the point where we've got a VR headset in my own home. I mean, all of you have probably seen uh, the VR head uh, stand that I made myself. You know, I ordered a black flock um, covered polystyrene head with a hole in the neck and then I got a bit of doweling wood from a from a hardware store, made sure it was exa got it shaped so it was the same diameter as the hole in the neck, shoved that down into it, got a piece of really heavy wood, painted it all the same matte black as the flock and it looks awesome. You know, that's, a st that's how much I love VR. I made a stand myself by hand, okay? I intend to get Star Trek Bridge Command when it comes out. I'm just trying to get some money together for it. I really love this technology. However, I've not been able to play it. And the reason I've not been able to play it that much is just time, you know? To when you have a VR headset, right? Now, I've got not a tiny lounge, but not a big lounge. I've got sur a serviceable lounge and a good enough space for PlayStation VR considering that PSVR on the whole is a sit down experience. So I can make it work. You know, the cable length is grand, all the rest of it. What changes it for me is the fact that a lot of the time there's furniture in the way and I've got a wife and a child and a job. So there's many a time I've come in and I've only got a short amount of time where I can get some gaming done. And if I have to spend a good 10 to 15 minutes setting up the VR headset, that's time taken out of gaming. Now, don't get me wrong, that is great time spent in gaming once you're in that VR headset. It is phenomenal. And I wouldn't change it for the earth. However, a lot of people go, Oh, well, that's because it's like the Vita. Great technology and Sony will ditch it as soon as humanly possible. And I'm like, nah, because the Vita is different, okay? The Vita is not like the PSVR for a great many reasons. Now, I have put not enough hours into this either. You know, I've got a few titles for it. A lot of them are digis from like PlayStation Plus. And it's mostly just cause, you know, when I'm on the bus going to work, the bus is shaking a bit all over the joint, you know? And generally I'm catching up on my Twitter and catching up with you guys as you respond to the videos and seeing other videos from other creators I enjoy, you know? I take it on holiday and I get a bit of gaming time of it then. Occasionally I'll sit down with it. And the remote play functionality of this is not what it's cracked up to be, at least not in this country. But I've spoken about that before. So as far as I'm concerned, this and this are not the, are not the same and they're not treated the same by Sony, right? Okay, Sony thinks of PlayStation VR as how they thought of the PlayStation when it first came out, way back in 94, okay? That's how they're treating it. The, the Vita, they treated as the as a successor to the PSP, which it technically was. I mean, they called, when they originally launched it, they had the code name for it of NGP, Next Generation Portable, which, by the way, they should have stuck with it was better than Vita. But, because it was hard to program for and the touchscreen functionality and the back touch functionality and the rest of it and the OLED screen making it expensive, the memory cards making it even more expensive, you know, the proprietary ch charging cable, you know, it's all added against Vita. So there are more barriers to Vita than are 
than you would like. But in saying that, the Vita software lineup, oh my god. The amount of games you can get for this sucker are crazy. Crazy amount of games, seriously. If you see a Vita and you think you can afford it, get one. Because honest to god, the software lineup for this, phenomenal. Software lineup for this is good and it's getting better all the time. The amount of little freebie things you can find on the PlayStation Store for this, brilliant. You want to know what PlayStation VR is? When you get right down to it, you want to know what it's analogous to? At least in my life. Vinyl. You're like, what? Vinyl? Yeah, vinyl. Think about it, right? Well, at least from my perspective, when I get home, right, occasionally, occasionally, I get the house to myself. Oh, the house to myself. It's such a lovely feeling. You know, when you're, a, trust me, guys, when you're a bit older and you're married and stuff and you have a kid and that, trust me, a, an empty house is a godsend. All right? But here's the thing, right? I go, I go, oh, I can play some vinyl. Because most of the way I listen to music these days is on Spotify. You know, it's like tracks here, tracks there. I don't listen to poor albums. I used to relish that. I used to sit there with an album. You know, like from my big speakers, which I've got my telly hooked into so I can have the big speakers from my PlayStation sometimes. You know, but the house is empty. Uh, <laughs> there we go again, empty house in the dirty. And it's like, so I'm like, you know, I'd love to get the vinyl out, you know, and I used to love to read the lyrics with the songs I was listening to as I was listening to the songs, you know. And it was that an experience, like the, like the VR. It was all about the experience, you know. But to play my vinyl, I've got to go over there, I've got to move the gerbils, I've got to move the table the gerbils are on, I've got to move some other bits and pieces that we keep down there because it's a small council house, you know. And between me, my wife and my wee boy, we got a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, I'm 42. You know, my wife is, you know, a bit younger than me. I'm not going to get her age away. I'm not going to, I'm not that daft. You know, <laughs> I grew up in a house where I went, I know what I'm doing, all right? We've all got a lot of stuff. We've accumulated a lot of stuff. That's what you do in life as a human. You accumulate stuff, all right? And I've got to move all that stuff, all right? And before I do that, I have to turn on the amp, all right? Turn on the amp without any volume. So the volume is down. The amp warms up. You have to let an amp warm up. If you turn an amp on and play from it cold, you're doing yourself a disservice. Let an amp warm up. A proper amp. Warm it up. Seriously, tip from Zen Block. Right? Now, I dig out the vinyl. I've got like three big horking boxes of vinyl. And that's just my 12 inch albums. Never even talk about my, my 12 inch singles and my 7 inch singles. Okay? A lot of you got. A lot of this is to some of you younger ones. It's like, what's he talking about? Never mind. Just ask your mum and dad. Alright? I know I'm an old fart. Alright? So, okay. Right. So I get out the vinyl and I open the boxes and I'm like, what the hell am I going to play? Because, you know, it's that thing Dara Breen talks about, you know, you have all this busy stuff going on in your life and you're like, I can do this, oh, I can do that, or oh, I can do this thing, or oh, I can do that thing, oh, I can read a book, I can read some books, I can do it. And you, by the time you get round to it, you're so overwhelmed, you don't know what to do. Like, about a week and a half ago, I said to my mate, uh, Jake at work, who's a fellow YouTuber, he, had, he runs a gaming vlog, it's right, not a gaming, a bike vlog channel, a moto vlog. Uh, it's called That Guy That Rides Bikes. Brilliant little channel, look it up, I think you'll like him. Um, and I said, to him, Oh, I got the, my wife's away the night, and it's like, so I'm gonna just blast right the way through. Everyone's got the rapture because I've got it on my system, so I'm just gonna nuke that game. I'm gonna play it from start to finish in one sitting. And he's like, oh, That's cool, dude. I said, I know I'm gonna have such fun. They've got the nibbles in, you know, nice big bottle of Ember. You can me, I love my brew. <laughs> and I was like, I'll oh, set for it. You know what I ended up doing? Three years of YouTube videos and then three hours of Grand Theft Auto online because I just went all feet on, oh, I don't know what to do. God, Grand Theft Auto. You know, because sometimes you just get overwhelmed by choice and overwhelmed by freedom when you when you don't have a lot of time to yourself, you know? That's why gaming is important. You have to, it's a good way for me to let my brain go... 
I let the pressure out, you know, I don't, don't have to think about my job, don't have to think about my rent, my food, my power, my gas, my council tax, blah, 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 blah. I can just put this on and do it. And you know what I'm talking about, you're gamers, come on. Right, so I get the boxes out, I've got the amp warmed up, and I'm like, what album am I going to play? You know, because there's so many albums I've not listened to in so long, and then to listen to an album all the way through, that's a commitment. That's like anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes of just music. And not only that, because it's vinyl, I've got to turn it over halfway through, haven't I? It's like, uh, so it's choices, it's equipment, it's setting it up, it's warming it. And then I've got to put it all away again. You know, I can't just leave it out. <laughs> it's just like, there's this never ending sort of procession in my life of, stuff that's got to be done even when I want to do the stuff that I want to do just for me <laughs> so that's where I am at with VR I love it but half the time I just don't got the time it's like I want to do more VR you know and I will do more VR you know I have little bashes of it here and there you know but uh, nothing as yet that's like earned me any trophies, so you can't tell I've done it if you are the trophy police. <laughs> Mr. Zemblock, we see you've not got any trophies for Battlezone and you've owned it for bl since launch. What's going on? Uh, oh, uh, hang on, officer. <laughs> it's like. <sighs> I'm not going to be sit here and justify myself. All I can say is, guys, right? Time, 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 wibbly wobbly timey wimey, as the David Tennant doctor used to say, you know, if you've got it, enjoy it while, it, while you have it, lads, and lasses, you know, but you become a parent and have a full-time job and all the rest of it, you got to fight, the, you got to choose your battles, it's that simple, but I still have a lot of love for my VR, it's still... One of the best, most awesome bits of kit I've ever owned. I mean, like I said, got two. <laughs> so, that's my real talk on VR. It's awesome. You should own one. There's more stuff coming. The attach rate for the software out there, if, you look, if you've looked into it, is incredible. You know, the amount of software that the average PlayStation Vita owner sorry, VR owner owns, it's brilliant. The system is far from dead. And anyone that tells you the, that the PlayStation VR is dead is talking out a hole in the head. It's that simple. Whew, another long video from me after such a big rest. Wow. Okay, guys. So, you know the drill. Rate, favourite, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, I, nay bother.